And now we got game number one. One of these boys has a date with Kamehameha in winner's finals. Yep, of course playing that other. And I mean, Elegance beat Sue to get here. So he definitely beat incredible talent just to get to this point. We saw Sue, like, just, I wouldn't even say body Larry. Like, there were some games he bought him, but. No, he, well, he, I mean, that first game he definitely bought yeah, him. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Sue, but, we already know, incredible talent. Yes. For sure. Let's see. Oh, this man. Is not, this is not Sue, though. Woo! This is not Sue. Okay. Duck Hunt got some combos in Ultimate, man. Of course, that side B, that Clay Pigeon is so great. You can combo it into another Clay Pigeon. Yep. Or most of the time, just go into another area. I've seen Duck Hunts get pretty crazy with it. I've seen, like, you know, Clay Pigeon in a down air spike. It, it gets nuts. And it's pretty nutty, too, because while, while he's doing all that, you still have to be wary of where the can placement is and how that's going to affect everything as well. Oh, there's the plunger. Oh, there's that. I talked about that can, boy. Oh, but Duck Hunt where plummeting to his death. Did he, did he air dodge out of the recovery? I'm not too I think sure. He must have, because that puts you he in the free to, right? fall. Yeah, yeah. that puts you in the free fall. So that might have been what spelled disaster for that stock. But the immediate strike back from Rido, not even going to make that a factor. Oh, there's the up tilt. Yep, right into the up air. And man, look at that. 51%. Yep. I feel like that's like the top tier standard in this game. Oh, my Do you have Lord. a 0 to 50? Check yes or no. What does Rido do for a living? That's what I want to know, because he's got these angles similar to a mathematician, yes. if you will. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like hexagon. A parallelogram and there's any kind of mass shit that you can think of, he's got it on Ooh. deck. And he's, he definitely has it on deck because Elegant's already at 158%. I'm saying, man. Look at and this. You might be thinking to yourself, man, that's got to be an A. Plus. In this case, boy, that's an F. <laughs> man, and he's dead. <laughs> wow, Rido is just, he didn't get touched. He, he, didn't. he got hit for 10%, and that's it. That is it. Can Elegant make it count here? Still trying to get through all the gunmen, all the clay pigeons, everything in the oh! What? Okay, Elegant. Hell? Okay, Elegant. Wow. We all got right. responses. I love this back and forth action. This is what I want to see. Elegant's like, yo, man, that's crazy. You have to hit me like 50 times to kill me. Yep. Check this out. Let me hit you up with this joint. You see Here's Duck, the dare. You see Duck Hunt on your screen. You might think, oh, we're in for a long one, man. We're going to camp it out. No, we got a straight up slugfest between yeah. these two combatants. And I couldn't tell you who's going to win the first one. But either way, I'm excited to see it go down. Here's the setup All right, here. you see Padre coming out. <laughs> All right. Oh, but the can, I mean, top 10 anime patrols? Uh, yeah, you know what? It happens sometimes, bro. <laughs> oh. It really do. Okay, Elegant, okay, Elegant. That was uh, quite the extension there from Elegant. Almost gets the stock. There's the forward smash, snatching him up with the new grab, though. That new grab actually are very effective in that situation. Yeah. Right? They're being a tether mechanic. Yeah, and you can, it, it's all. Oh, ooh, what? Damn, he got hit up that with the duck. That seems so telegraphed, too, yeah. right? It seemed like he had, like, he had some time to react to that, but just did not. Maybe that slight bit of hesitation was what Ryder was counting on, and it got him to stop. Yeah, maybe Elegant thought he was trying to bait something and get a little tricky with it, but uh, Ryder hit him with the classic. Like, and I, classic. I'm just trying to hit you, bro. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. All right, so, man, it's just the offstage can be so brutal for Ryder, but we see him just overall prevail. And Elegant, it was, like, kind of close, but just the neutral seems so hard for Luigi, man. Max. And even with that new Zare, of course, uh, Luigi's definitely one of the more interesting Zares. You kind of like throw it out there, and the Plunger is a stagnant hitbox that kind of just lasts for a while. So it, it almost can be used like as a setup tool. Okay, but here we go. Back into the neutral here. We've got the Gunman out and the Cannon. That's pretty much going to be Rido's go-to. Right. If the Gunman's not out, Rido wants to get the Gunman out. If the Cannon's not out, <laughs> I'm going to try to get the Cannon out. It's all, it's, I mean, it's all a zone-based, projectile-based game for Rido. That's going to be the name of it. And he does it just so well. It's just such flawless execution. Yeah. A lot of credit goes to Elegant for that performance in the first game. I mean, honestly, there are points that could have gone either way. Yes. If I'm him, I'm still very much so encouraged in this game. Yeah, and Elegant not going to switch off in uh, any characters. He, he's pretty much sticking thin through Luigi's what got him to this point. So, man, almost getting that can conversion again, man. Raido just showing that he's so great at not only setting up the can to affect neutral, but it's like, oh, if I get a neutral exchange, if I get a grab, yeah. I can also just get damage off this can. That can always threatening, and Raido always seemingly right place, right time to try and take advantage. And he'll, like, he'll, he'll, like, make extensions by the can, so it's like, oh, it's almost like Snake, where I'm like, oh, I'm going to try and get this. Ah, what? Lord have mercy. The clay pigeon combos right into the back air, man. That killed him. 
Man, what a solid first stock coming out here for Rydal. What a way to start this game number two as well. Almost expect nothing less. And look at these just early Ooh. percent combinations he's able to string together. And elegant, you can see the percent starting to build, but nicely done, keeping the pressure going on the right side. That back there, an excellent cleanup tool. Yeah, and that first stock. He definitely needed that. The uh, the strong hit of back air we've seen, we've seen the sour hit cost uh, much money for a lot of Luigi mains, but he could oh, have the zero to death on. Oh, okay. I was getting a little shook. I was getting a little shook. Yeah, I mean, that, he almost got it, but it looked like Raido di down. Maybe Elegant not too familiar with that weight class. Like you said, man, you don't really fight a duck hunt every day. No, not at all. It's definitely not a character where you're like, yo, man, I'm at a tournament. Let's, let me get some money matches <laughs> in. Like, yo, who playing duck hunt? Yo, who playing that duck hunt, no And you're trying to money match. Who made duck hunt? It's just all you hear is crickets. <laughs> Big facts. That's funny. <laughs> the accuracy of that statement, my friend. <laughs> Too real in the field, man. Field right now is definitely belonging to Rido. Significant lead. Elegant needs to be on his P's and Q's. I like how Elegant's trying to use the plunger as well to kind of like hit the can or hit the gunman in a safe distance. Hasn't been working out like amazingly, but I think the idea is really great. Right, I feel that. Okay. Man, that's such a scary situation. Rido's covering road. The can's in normal getup. That's that's the scary thing about these setup characters, man. They can cover multiple options with all these setup tools. And the, the, the thing that gets me too is like, yeah, you, you know, you mentioned setup characters. They're already prepared to punish you as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he knows exactly where you're going to go if you do end up taking the hit. So there's always a contingency plan too, whether it hits you or not. Yeah, it's just like Almar, where he throws the purple, you kill the purple Pikmin, but at what cost? Almar's right there, he's ready to punish you. And like, most of the time it's worth it, yes, but it's just, it's something that you have to be constantly aware of. Yeah, facts. Ooh, Zare into the grab here. Ooh, not gonna get that follow up. Tricky DI from Raido there. All right, this was around the same percent that we saw Elegant actually take the stock last time, so he could pull something similar. I still give him an opportunity in the second game, but my goodness, the opportunity starting to fleet a little bit as you see this percent. Look at that! Oh. I didn't even finish the sentence before that stock became in danger. Yeah, and it's, it's the same thing over and over again. Can he get back? And Raido even used the gunman as bait. Elegant killed the gunman with his air, but to what avail, man? You're just gonna get hit up by the clay pigeon into the back air and just rinse and repeat. Raido trying to get this can confirmed going. I like how he's just so content to just back up. I'll let you get back to the stage safely, Elegant. What do I have to worry about? Look at my lead right now and look at your percent. It's already written and there it is scrolled all across FD 2 0 for Ryder. Yeah, and ending it the exact same way. Hit him up with the, the duck of the hunt. Of course, the up air will seal it out. And man, Ryder up 2 0 against Elegant. And you know what? Sometimes history repeats itself. And this looks like a, a repeat of some Smash 4 history. Yeah, I mean, I know the, the it was not skewed in Elegant's favor back in Smash 4. So yeah. you can definitely see those. Of, you know, some of those those old ghosts coming back to haunt Elegant, but hey, you know what? As long as you still got another game, you still got an opportunity, man. You still turn I, things around. After I saw what Zenyu did, game three, yeah. Nico, I, anyone, like, it, anything's on the table. It's man. hard to sleep on anybody, yeah, I feel that, but an excellent start from Rido. Not what Elegant's looking for at all in this pivotal game number three. Must win situation now in winners. Yeah, I just feel like Elegant has to be so clutch. For the most part, Raido's gonna win most of the neutral exchanges. It's kind of just like what the characters are, you know, lined up to be. Yeah. But when Elegant gets his opening, he really has to make Raido hurt, man. Definitely. He's making it hurt, and that's one thing, dude. So much of the troll moves are actually pretty good. Luigi dash attack, pretty good move in this game. It's, oh, it's not bad. I mean, you know, I, you know the way Luigi runs. It's know. so funny. I'm not a, I'm not a fan, man. Looks like he's just. You know, your little brother just running to go tell mom, like, yeah, oh, yeah, he just yeah. stole my switch or something like that. Be a man, damn it. I feel, like, right. I feel like it's like trying to use the bathroom, you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a photo finish kind of deal. Well, I'll tell you what, look, <laughs> if the, look, if the duck can use a hydra, so can you. Call up Pac-Man and get to work. <laughs> I'm just trying to oh, tell wait. it like it is. There's the air dodge. Yeah, oh, he, that was so oh. yes, it's so last minute. If, if Elegant just like timed that double jump a tad bit later, he would have got been able to get the, uh, of course, that back there, but Wait, the Cyclone, it does have frame one intangibility in the air. One of the best combo breaking moves in the game. So, Very Elegant is. definitely utilizing that. No doubt about it, man. No, we're going to call that the snitch run. That's the snitch run. The snitch run. He's, yeah, all, he's going to tell us. He's always going to tap. Yeah, he, he, I don't know who did what. Not exactly, but, but he's he going to let snitch. you know. He's definitely trying to snitch. He's going to let you know, man. That twit longer is coming. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I promise you. <laughs> we just ran into his phone getting ready for the twit long. <laughs> <laughs> You're OD. Where you at? Where you at, man? Where's Elegant at, man? Not on the stage. Rido oh, doing man. an excellent job keeping There's... him off. 
Ooh, that was really smart. Elegant had no double jump. Righto tried to pull the trigger there. And just like that, Elegant's like, you forgot about my uh, frame one intangible move, man. What's Must up? Must have forgot for a second, my man. I'm going to remind you real quick, though. And this can is hunting Elegant down. But I just feel like the can is the first part of the magic trick. What, what Raido really wants is yeah. you to avoid the can so he can hit you with that up air. How many times have we seen Raido get the up air on Elegant? And it, I mean, it's just easier said than done to avoid. It really it's, is, It's yeah. so hard because Raido's setting it up so well. He knows exactly what he's looking for, and he has delivered every single time. And Elegant, final stock in the winner side of this tournament. Oh, we are about to have an all Japanese Ooh. winner's finals, but not if Elgin had something to say about it. That was actually mad clutch. Yeah, that you, was. You need a big time play in that situation. Exactly. And you couldn't ask for a better scenario. And it always sucks when you're trying to go for that big time play. Wait, are we going to see the zero to death? Great DI coming out from Ryder, though. Oh, but Elegant keeping the pressure on and making it count, man. He's still keeping up this pressure, and that is something that SoCal definitely known for, just being very aggressive, keeping the pressure up. And, man, Elegant definitely trying to rep SoCal on the home turf right now. And he is. I mean, he's doing an excellent job. I will say oh. that all the whiff. Yeah, but he's not going to take too much off of that. So. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're, he, he, like, barely took an aerial. Yeah, I mean, you go back, what, uh, 30, 40 seconds? We didn't even think Elegant was, was going to have a real chance. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just keeping it real, you're man. Right, that, you're right. You know, that up B was just crucial in this turnaround. Man, and there's that can, and just like that, I just feel like Ryder was like, you know what? Chill, bro. Like, let me slow this momentum down. Exactly. Let me get some breathing room. Let me get things established here. Got the can out. Got the gunman. What you gonna do, Elegant? How are you gonna jump in on me? Because I want that up there. Putting the pressure to Elegant for sure. Oh, little can betrayal on that. Love the space on that back, and that was sensational. Oh, but there is the down me again. That jet out of jail free card, clutching it out for Elegant. Oh, oh but where are you going? Where are you going, Elegant? Where are you going, man? Rido sending you straight down to that blast zone. All he wanted you to remember is ducks fly high. Luigi's, they just die. Yep. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That was nasty, bro. Remember who has the better recovery. Exactly. That was nasty. Kudos to Elegant. Definitely made it a tight one down the stretch, but Rido would not be denied. Man, that was crazy. Yeah, and that, that, that game through was probably the closest thing we had in terms of just like when they were both on last August, it was kind of even, you know what I mean? And just Rido really clutching it out. Those first two games always felt like Elegant just trying to claw his way exactly. from the clutches of defeat. But man, Rido actually the one clutching it out that game number three. With he that needed downer. it too. You know, Elegant, I mean, he got that kill and then picked up all the momentum in the world. Didn't look like he was going to be slowed down, but it, it is what it is. Yeah. So. And I mean, Kudos. for for how tough the matchup was, I think Elegant did a pretty good job. I do, absolutely. Yeah. He, yeah. he performed admirably. Yeah, and it, it just can be hard. I mean, it's just definitely one of those matchups where it's like the neutral is really tough. Yeah. So, like, when you do get a hit, it's not like you can just sit back, react, sit back, react.